Huh? All right, this is Big Rich here with How Fish Rescue, and check this out. So apparently, this is a guy got rid of his pond. My customer, George Janowick from Gem Ponds, built him a big pond, and all of these fish have been taken out of the pond and put into a warehouse. How you doing? Uh, Do you have a big tank in there with a bunch oh, of fish? Yeah, I can say, is the owner here, uh, Eddie? Yeah, you can say the oh, office. Thank you. So on the office on the left side. Thank you. I'm looking for Eddie. Yeah, this is him. Pond guy, Greg. Oh, Greg, what's going on? <laughs> hey, buddy. Apparently, you got some nice sized koi there. Yeah, it doesn't look like a warehouse of koi. <laughs> no. You guys a uh, landscape firm? No, we uh, used to have a big pond in front of this building. Yeah. Okay, great. How you doing? Right, Do you well, mind? I'm going to rush some fish. Okay. Uh, yeah, man, that's good. <laughs> I don't ask. Alex and one of those other guys to help with the tractor. I got a phone though. What is this business? Uh, party rental. Okay. How long have the fish been in there? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, So they sold the property that the pond was in. They've been living here for three or four months. So there's over 100 fish. Wow. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, so they range from anywhere from 10 to 15 years old. Uh -huh. Obviously, there's some younger ones that are babies, but. You know where some of these fish would go? What do you mean? Well, we're bringing them. Shaquille O'Neal's house. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. So we need some shack size fish. Get some shack -size right fish. there. Yeah, Woo -hoo! Look at that one right here. Look at this beautiful Kohaku butterfly. Oh, my All God. Right. These yeah. are and the biggest toys. Oh, yeah. These guys are definitely healthy. All right, Rich. I want to have you do a scrape and test the water, okay? Yes, sir. Make sure we're not bringing back any diseases to Aqualand. Wow, look at that butterfly. Almost all of them are butterflies, huh? There's some little guys in here, too. Obviously, he, whatever survived. How many, you you how many fish did you say there were? No, he said there's about 100 fish in there, right? That's what my dad's saying, over 100. Look at the size of those butterflies. I've never seen them this big. I know, they are. Huge. And that's, that's even the one with the mullet. broke back. That's a guy with a big mullet saying that. The biggest koi you've ever seen, Rich? Biggest koi I've ever seen in real are person. You serious? I'm dead serious. Really? I run Ohio Fish Rescue and I own it. And yeah. I've never seen koi this big. Well, like I said, my dad's pond was gigantic. And they sold the house? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's the pond in the back of the house as well, yeah. You see the broken back? Koi? Greg? Yellow one? Wow. Big fish. <laughs> you can say that again. Dude. Yeah, I never see so anything so big. What's the deal with the king? Oh, sorry. I got, uh, I'm the vlogger. Oh, okay. So we're vlogging the rescue yeah. of the fish. <laughs> That's just crazy. They're huge. So George built the pond, huh? George Anarchy. Okay, here comes Greg. <laughs> Don't hit the white truck. There you go. Don't hit the other truck. <laughs> Good deal. Yeah. Go here. Heavy right. I'll figure 500 gallons. We're only filled halfway, so 250, 500. We'll have 750 gallons times nine. Uh, let's go with times 10 is 7,500 pounds. Having half the, half the I would. Yeah. Hey, Greg, try and get your wheels up on the on the cement on this side. Keep coming. Cut it this way a little bit. Yep, yeah, back this way. Stay close, right close to the wall. wall. Yeah. Now turn your wheel a little bit. Now just straight back. Turn it, unturn it some. You're going away from the house. All right, that's good. You're good there. 9990. Will we answer? Yeah. He's going he's gonna to lose his mind. He's going to say, we don't have no place to put him. Hey, Josh. Hey, what's up, buddy? 
I'm standing in a, a big koi pond and um, I picked out with your dad, we're gonna pick out 10 giant koi to bring to Shaquille O'Neal and we want uh, you guys to bring it to Shaq's. He wants us to drive him down to Shaq's in Georgia and meet Shaquille O'Neal and drive him the fish that we got and the fish that Greg picked out for him. We can do that. But we gotta bring him home now and put these 10 36 inch koi somewhere. I've got that other pop up pool we, we could use. I was gonna suggest I, that. Um, more of the six foot tubs. You just lost my bet. I told Greg, I guarantee Josh is gonna say, Where are we gonna put him, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's talking to the pod guy. He knows to get it done, right? We get right. it done, don't we, buddy? <laughs> So I'm gonna we're gonna send ten of these koi back with you, and then you're gonna get them in about a month to come down to Georgia. Whenever Shaq can get back uh, to his house in Georgia. All right, Josh, and these, I'll meet you down there. These are the biggest koi I've ever seen. <laughs> that's that's no joke. Not even close. To the, our biggest one is gonna look like a little pipsqueak next to these. <laughs> well, that's pretty awesome. Hope you got, got some good footage. We got some good footage for some good videos, and uh, we'll talk soon, buddy. All right, I'll talk to you later. Thanks. I'm so glad that you <laughs> talked to him on the phone, because to me, he would have acted differently. <laughs> <laughs> right, that makes them worth more. It's still a nice fish. All of these fish are very healthy. The, uh, the, the body shape, they've been fed well. Okay, set that down, and then grab this from him. Where do you see Aquaman, dude? You've never seen anything like it, right, Rich? Oh yeah, it's 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 a a fun fantasy factory of funness. I mean, seriously, he's got indoor soccer soccer uh, court, indoor basketball court. He's got a video room, a, a game room, a, a kitchen. Uh, he's got an axe throwing room where you just go in and throw axes. Oh yeah, I heard that's the new. The new uh huh. Got it. That is absolutely humongous. How much, how much do these guys weigh? There we go. 40 pounds? So is it, was this at a house that George built this or on a business? No, I think. No, this is my dad's commercial location. Yeah, I know, but where did they come from? The pond. Oh, originally? Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, but George built your dad a pond. Did he build it at your house or did he build it at the No, he built it at the commercial location. And yeah. he sold that location. Yeah, so he ah. had a big ass pond in the entryway. And he gotcha. Yeah, insane. That he yeah. sold that so he doesn't have any place for the fish. That's exactly right. And how did you keep the blue herons off of him? Uh, well, I know eventually he started doing uh, the fishing line. Oh, okay, fishing line. Yeah, you can't see it, but you can out when they hit it. You ready? Check out this beautiful Ogon going to Aqualand. Look at the size of these guys. Holy cow. We gotta get some water out of it. Monster. You got it, Reaper? <laughs> <laughs> That's a shack size koi. A little bit. This one's heavy, man. I think I sold one here. And this is a smaller one. Yeah, we've got 18 is, of the bigger ones, this and is now the smaller one, the <laughs> smallest one we've moved so far. <laughs> the last one, a Doitsu. Maybe a Doitsu Saki. Your thing went off again. Do we got this? I love my job. <laughs> 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 we got all the helpers here. All right, guys. Okay, so what's the temperature in there now? Let's look at the temperature. Okay. Yeah, it's 65, I'd say. Okay. And this water here is 66.4. So we're awesome. Good. You're we don't real need good. Water at all. So let's start bringing the fish. So take the net off, guys. Bring the net out of here. And look at this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna videotape. Flavio, the man behind the camera. <laughs> What's up, buddy? <laughs> nice seeing you, bud. Flavio, all the big koi you need to put in this net. Now listen, you scoop it with water, and then you hold it like this and twist this, and then you can move them in the water. What about those other nets right there? 
You can use those nets. Net. Wait, listen, you use these net. nets to push the fish over into the other end. So get them in one net first. Go in there. Get them in one net first. Oh. Is that the last one? No, we got a bunch, guys. Oh, wow. Yeah, these two go into the uh, pond. How are the fish doing out there? Where? I haven't seen any floaters. Well, that's always good. <laughs> I guess. Things are amazing. How old are these? Do we know? Uh, I 15 think. Fifteen years. Fifteen years. How long do they live? Who drives those bikes? Really? All right, guys. It's a good thing we rescued these fish today. Huh? Right. When you guys reach down and put your hand under like his belly or something so I can get some size comparison. Oh yeah, that's amazing. Look at that guy. And the, just the coloration, my God, how thick they are. The are biggest koi we've ever seen, yes. Oh, I was gonna make a comment, but I <laughs> <laughs> See, aren't these things just beautiful? Oh my God. Guy wanted like five grand a piece for him if you'd buy him separately. You got them for 12 grand, all 80 of them? All 80, 80 of them. 80? 80? That is insane. 80 fish. Good profit. So that's a good deal. Oh, size of it. All right, guys, here's a special one. Because it's just a, a unique koi with a, with a Deutsch seal. Okay, watch this one, Rich. I think this is one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. Oh. Do his belly and lift him up so you can see by the camera. That is oh, wow. a pregnant female. That is. Oh my god. Oh. Pick her up with both hands. Oh. Look at that joitsu. Look at those markings. That is a Scaleless fish. skins. Oh my god. Alright. We got a giant one. This one might be the biggest. Are you all? There's I've a heard that before. So <laughs> you, what do you think? It's huge. Okay, you guys ready? Let's go. Big, big. There's big, no fish in big, there. Big, big, big. Oh, that's a tiny one. No, no, that's a tiny one. Oh, 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 Look at the size, the body contour. It's also supposed to look like a torpedo. All of these are look like torpedoes. They've been well fed. That's a sweet fish. They are shiny. Hey, Rich. Yes, sir. I want to give Shaq one more. Okay. It's a neat looking koi. It's got it's got pink tail. Well, let's put this in with the rest. All right, somebody you're, you get ready to grab it? Okay. Lucky 13, it's a baker's dozen. That one's going in for cool. It's the biggest butterfly. Okay, hold on. Okay, go check out. Jack's going to love that one. Look at these guys. Okay, so this guy, I'm working on terrible. Up and over. Nice. Shaq is going to just absolutely love you. Look. No, it'd be the most expensive sushi ever. So look at some beautiful doitsu there, sanki. Look at that. What an awesome pattern, and the size, and the shape, and the contours. I mean, some of these fish are, you think, big rich, three feet? 36 inches with the biggest ones. Yeah, that's some there's big like, There's point. like four so of all them. All of these are going into uh, my uh, Japanese <coughs> koi pond area. I think they're all worthy, even though they're not Japanese, because they're butterfly koi. <coughs> and the rest of these, I got all the kids helping me out here today. I told him, Shaq's going to pick him up and squeeze him too hard. 
you lined all the fish up, you could match Shaq's height. Right. <laughs> big man, big fish. Guarantee you the amount of title of the. A baby. Okay, here we go. Hold on, guys. We're filming this going in. First one. Okay, so what did you get it with the size? We have no idea what size it is. Okay, so here we go. I'm sorry. Okay. Hey, get it from the side view. Here we go. Get, get it, get it, Bob. You can get it going in. From the center over here. Get it from the window here. You know. All right. Here we go. What a big ah, beast! Look at that guy. How fat? Oh my gosh! It's got to be pregnant. Woo! Well, man, and the pond guy happy. is happy. <laughs> okay, it's about seven in the morning and we're driving around back, trying not to sink. We're up to the back deck. <clears throat> All right, let me get to work and I, there's our new home right there, that big tub or pool. Here we are, I'm gonna let Josh take over now. Go ahead, Josh. Uh, we kind of just uh, destroyed the pile of putting that potted lily plant in there. But last night we had to set up, this is a six by 13 by 32 inch tall. This is just a steel frame, uh, it detects pool. So I went ahead and got, got this all set up, put cardboard beneath it. And I went ahead and got the steel frame set up with the liner. And then right here we have, this is a 55 gallon barrel filled with nothing but bio balls and then three different layers of foam. So that's basically our uh, our filtration for it. This is already pre-seeded, running on our stingray pond. The three layers of foam are uh, a medium, uh, a finer, and then, oh no, I'm sorry, a big thick one, a medium one, and a fine one layer of round foam that we got in there. And it acts as our mechanical. Below that, there's a spreader tray with holes in it that spreads out all the water evenly to these bio balls. And this has been running, what, six months on our system? More than that. More than that. So this is definitely preceded. So all we had to do was take a pump, pump water up to it, and let it go through the mechanical, through the uh, biological, and then back into the pool. And uh, so now this, this is set and ready for the fish. We do have the big sock net we got and the, the nets. We're getting ready to bring them in here. And this is a plant Greg gave us out of the 600,000 gallon uh, aquascape pond he has in front of his business he actually reached down into the pond and grabbed this for me i mean this guy knows no ends of, of, of his giving and, and goodness he he says you you need a plant like this and he handed it up and i'm like oh my god that's the biggest lily i've ever seen <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and start moving the fish and uh we'll keep you updated i'm empty all the water out <laughs> yeah Always leave enough in, at least just for their face. Yep. Okay guys, it's about 8.30. We have the truck empty of all fish. We have the trailer empty. This is what he gave us. The liner, that thing was a bear. They put it on with a forklift. Me and Josh took it off with ourselves. There's all kinds of tubing. This is the felt underlayment. These are the aqua blocks. Here's the centipedes, overflows, uh, everything for the wetlands filtration. Then there is all of this stuff. I don't know what any of this stuff is here. Um, a fake stump cover, uh, two lights, some foam insulation, an ionizer system. Um, I don't even know what this is. Oh, pro foam. This is the, the black uh, foam that seals water. Uh, we got pond power head. And, uh, yeah, just, just all kinds of stuff. But, you know, we got it unloaded, so now we got to carry it in the house. Now, here are the fish. The water was crystal clear until we put this plant in here. This is one of the plants Greg, Greg gave me. But there is a 34 inch koi. He is just massive and, and just, oh my God. The black and white one, the yellow one. There's, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now this guy I'm worried about. Look at how stressed and red his tail is. All the rest are okay, but that one looks stressed big time. We've got fresh water in here. We acclimated him to this water. We've got it overloaded with prime. Uh, yeah, you can, let me see if I can zoom in on him. Look how stressed and red, blood and all of his fins. They all made it, they're alive. We had to stop and do uh, water changes because they were all in that uh, tub in the back of the van and they were overpowering. We had two filters in there and two air stones and they were overpowering that and the water was becoming thick and you know less oxygenated so i had to drain half the water out find a truck stop that would actually have a hose hooked up to hot and cold water and then i tempermented the water to be the same temperature which was at that time about 68 69 because they came in at 64 degrees and you know we're driving around in the van for hours at 70 degrees so obviously the temperature is going to come up so we got the water to go in there at right about 68 degrees and filled it back up halfway and they just were like ah um we of course took a bunch of prime with us and that's what we use we double dose prime all the time it also neutralizes ammonia and stuff and these fish were not purged these fish were fed and fed and fed and so they were they were defecating and, and peeing all in the tub so that's what made it rough for us to go home uh when we got them out of the warehouse and uh Chicago that was only a 20 25 minute ride back to you know aquascape but I had a six hour drive so but with two water changes they did good they're here they're alive and uh, all 13 made He got lucky. <laughs> Okay guys, you saw the whole trip, you saw the fish we, we rescued, we got back here, we're saving for Shaq. As soon as we find out when Shaq is going to be back to his new home, then we're heading to Atlanta, Georgia, and we're going to give Shaq these fish personally. Can't wait because my boy's so excited. And you know, me of course, I'm excited, I'm going to meet the big man. But that's okay, we're going to make him happy is what we're going to do, giving him these fish. These, I know he's going to love them, I love them. I wish I didn't have to give them up. They're beautiful. Biggest, best butterfly koi I've ever seen. They're just amazing fish. And uh, so now, you know, if you like the ventures we, we go on, keep watching. Like, comment, sh share. Oh, share the video for sure. That helps us a lot. Get it out there. Get our name out there. The more people hear about us, the more, you know, uh, followers we get. And that helps. It really does. So until next time, stay fishy, my friends.